Okay, cables made, trouble shot. RE320, LCT440, mic shootout. I'm gonna read sentences from Reddit, A being, starting with the RE320. So the first of each section you hear is the RE320, and the second is the LCT440. And at the end, I'll give you my thoughts. Short version though, I like this mic. Question from Reddit. Question from Reddit. When you fill up a jerry can for a lawnmower, when you fill up a jerry can for a lawnmower, do you actually just walk up to a normal gas pump at a station and fill it? Do you actually just walk up to a normal gas pump at a station and fill it? I have to fill my lawnmower with gas. I have to fill my lawnmower with gas. Do I fill up the can at the normal gas pump for cars? Do I fill up the can at the normal gas pump for cars? Or is there usually somewhere else to do it? Or is there usually somewhere else to do it? First answer, yes. First answer, yes. You use the pump. You use the pump. A lot of people do it at the same time as filling the car. A lot of people do it at the same time as filling the car. So it goes on one bill. So it goes on one bill. But you can just do the can. But you can just do the can. So similar to the... Oh, and we're back on the 440, by the way. Similar to Delgadio's demo that we watched, um, the mics sound remarkably similar. The only thing I had on either one was denoising and compression. Uh, no EQ, no tonal shifts. And one of the things I noticed is it sounds remarkably similar to the RE320. Couple of things. Um, it's a condenser, so its ability to pick up, say, my neighbor's air conditioner unit running, you know, two walls away <clears throat> is higher, but a decent denoiser can fix that, and you should have that in your toolkit anyway uh, at some point. So it's not that big a deal. Um, and even with the built-in, you know, Final Cut denoiser, this is the type of noise it's just perfect at getting out. It's not debilitating but you can see it, you can, you can measure it, which is gonna be different than the dynamic microphone. But overall, in terms of sound, again, they both sound really close together. The RE320 has a little bit more of like a boomy proximity effect kind of tone to it, which I think is great, but specifically what I'm looking for was a little bit more clarity and that's, what the LCT 440 has is a little bit more of that high-end detail, just a little, just a little bit more upper frequencies to sort of balance out the natural boominess that comes from doing some good compression. And also my voice, when we put some compression on there, we got enough low end already that um, while I do like the RE320 sound, I'm missing some of that clarity and I'm getting it out of the 440. And if I wanted some extra low end, it is capturing it and you could just boost that in EQ. So overall, uh, it's like 80 bucks cheaper than the RE320 and it sounds just as good with that extra clarity that I'm getting. I wouldn't say it's a better microphone. I wouldn't say it's a worse microphone. I would say that it's a different brush and it's one that I quite like. I think for voiceover, it's great, but it is going to require a little bit more care to record with than the RE320 does. So the trade-off, you get extra clarity, but you can't have your AC on. You can't have the door open so you can hear your fridge. If your neighbors are out there, you know, running a motorcycle, you might get away with recording anyway with the 320, but you're not going to get that clarity. So I would say pick the one you think sounds best and go with that one. Personally, I'm not upset at all that I got the 440, but also it's not, you know, it's not 
knocking it out of the park for me either compared to the 320, which is already a fantastic microphone. So it wasn't this revelatory experience adding it to the to the toolkit, so to speak. But I think that's more a function of I found mics that I like and I don't think that um, I'm going to get better sound out of more expensive microphones. So I have elsewhere to look if I want to change the sound of my recorded voice, but I, I like it. This has gone on too long. Goodbye. Goodbye.